you know who it is. It's Big Mitch from 89106, the loco, you know. Much love to the 030, Vegas for sure. The Meadows with the big homie. Don't act like you don't know me. Yes, Mr. High Hood. I wish I knew. Good. Vegas Chronicles. Bye. Hey, check this out. I got some hot sauce for y'all today. Right. Of course, as usual, I be getting these phone calls, right? This is a real good one here. <clears throat> well, apparently, and this may come as a shocker to some, but not to others. Now, this is why I prefer, you know, people from other hoods to really get up here and speak on their own if they want to. Some don't want to. I'm just trying to preserve Vegas history so it don't be distorted and told by foreigners. That's all. People could, people from Vegas can understand that, right? And people from other neighborhoods, like real OGs, all it takes is one to just spit the real so we can solidify our history, preserve it, look at it, and then find a solution. Because if we can go back to where it started, then we can find solutions to stop it. You see? But anyway, I had an interesting conversation last night from a, a, a reputable guy. He don't want his name mentioned for whatever reasons, and I'm going to respect that, all right? But this dude, I can vouch for A1A, just as thoroughbred as myself, you know? So whatever he says, I could take that to the bank because it's like it came out of my mouth because as I am to where I'm, I came from, he is to where he come from. And not only is he from where he come from, I've known him since he was a baby. And he's a reputable dude. He's a very known dude. He, uh, you know, he, 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 he was with the function in a way that a lot of y'all wouldn't understand. But he made a transformation also that a lot of y'all wouldn't understand. And that's why he, he don't want to be spoke because he want to keep his peace. He don't mess with nobody. And he don't want that disturbed. And I respect that to the utmost. But let me get to what he told me. He told me this here. He said, hey, uh, first of all, what's up, sheep, man? It's been a long time. I said, sure have, man. It's good to hear your voice, man. And we chopped it up, caught up to date, you know, on what we've been up to. And he told me, he said, sheep, you know, you did a video, man. And uh, I said, yeah, man, you know, I try not to speak too much about the hood because... I, you know, that's real deep in the north, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I don't, I don't know their history like that. You know, I know, I know their history enough to where I can say, well, I, you know, I could speak if I was in another state and somebody asked me about the hood, I can tell them about it. But as far as the authentication where it began, you know, a lot of people, you know, and including myself, heard Michael Finley was the founder of the hood. Every, a lot of people heard that. I myself. But <clears throat> apparently, um, I'm going to say this. Another name was mentioned as, uh, as being the founder. And I'm not saying nothing other than another name was mentioned. And it's not up to me to, to say it's true. It's not up to me to say it's not. It's not up to me at all. It's, it's, it's up to me to say this is what was, was said to me. Uh... Michael Finley, in fact, he said, you know, was not the founder. I'm not saying he not, and I'm not saying he is. I heard he was, and that's what I heard, but that's all I heard. Everything you hear might not be the truth. That's not my laundry. They say a guy by the name of Matthew Holmes, machine gun slick, and he was supposed to be, I never heard of him. I, I think I heard of Matthew Holmes, not too much, but... That's a little bit before my time, you know, especially when it comes to the hood. But somebody somebody by the name of, of Matthew Holmes and some guy by the name of Machine Gun Slick, I don't know who that is. And before there were hoods, see, I was all, and this is something that blew me back. I didn't know that before the hood was even the hood, they were known as Children of the Night. That blew me away. Now, if anybody know anything about that, let me know what it is because... I heard that, you know, this is how that was set in motion and that, you know, um, the guy Matthew Holmes was in fact, 
you know, the one that planted the red flag down there and before they were Hollywood, they were children of the night. What year this occurred, and I don't know, um, but that's what was bought to me, you know. And I respect him for giving me that because I don't claim to know everything about Vegas and especially that's why I say people from other hoods that know that they can step up for it and they can, you know, spit their hood better than me. I respect the hood. You know, it's a lot of legendary figures that come from over there. You know, uh, shouts out to the, to the ones that, you know, got it right, moved out the way and, and look for solutions to this, you know, and the ones that's doing good, you know. And I salute the hood, you know what I mean? And, and, and I don't try to destroy nobody's history, but that's what I was told. All right. Now, moving along. Um, shouts out to everybody that salute this platform, man. I'm building it brick by brick. Know that I'm doing what I can to bring this Vegas history to the forefront. And uh, I'm going to keep on doing it because we got to find a solution to the problem. But in order to do that, we got to go back to the root. And I come from the root. So it's my thing, you know, my, 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 I feel obligated to go back up over it and then try to find a solution. Now, I also got a message that was sent to me. And. Somebody sent me a message saying, I guess Lil Gus want to talk to me. Okay. Lil Gus know he could talk to me. He used to talk to me all the time. He used to call me when he was at work. We used to talk on, 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 on the chop it up on the phone. That's my big homie. I grew up with him. He knew me ever since I was a baby. His mama is like a mama to me, his sister. Was like a mom to me, Tony girl. His brother James, you know, uh, we, uh, Big Gus, all them. I've been knowing them my whole life. They've been knowing my family. So he know he can talk to me. But uh, if it has anything to do with uh, Alley Shot, right? Okay. Bruh, let's just keep this real. All right? I'm going to say this. I bet I was in that alley. Y'all know. Y'all know. I was in that alley with bread to him. Before Alley Shot became anything. Even before it was just a scene. Like in 89. When we was all in that alley, there was no such thing as that. When we used to be over Chicken Head Chris, okay? I don't know why people continuously lie. Bip started that. I'm not going to go over that, man. That was a bold-faced lie that bro told, and you know it. There was no such thing as no alley shot in that little alley, man. We was over there. When Ballhead was alive, everybody was in that alley, man. Polly Mac was in that alley. Okay, Bip, he wasn't even hanging with us. And let me tell you something, man. Vegas Chronicles, two incidents. <clears throat> me and Bip. It wasn't no alley shot then. Hey, Bip, you remember that time we tried to take that uh, green, that it was a convertible uh, Chevy? From that boy that used to go with Sheila, monkey looking Sheila used to be with Night Train daughter Bug that stayed up in uh, 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 the Brownies. You know Sheila, ugly, she ugly Sheila. Used to be with Michelle, Bug, Dorothy Ann, all that. And I think Sheila lost one of her kids. Uh, something happened to one of her kids or whatever. But you remember Sheila? Remember she had that, she stayed in the little carry arms? And remember her boyfriend, I forget his name, man. I'm going to remember it, though. He had that convertible Chevy, man, that green when it was on, on rims. Remember me and you tried to jack him? And we, we start whooping him over there in front of you. It was right there by your house. We start beating him up. And, and, and we took his keys. We whooped him out. And hard tackle sister, Tara, was out there talking about, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. You remember that? But we didn't care. We was whooping them. And I ain't going to lie. You was performing swell. 
I didn't know you fought like that because you was hitting them with your forearms, and I didn't understand that, you know. But we got them keys from him, remember that? And we took that car, and he pulled that bull crap again. At first, you didn't know how to drive a stick when the incident happened in Winslow Park, and now all of a sudden, you don't know how to drive, period, when we took his car. You don't remember that? I do. It was in 1989 and there wasn't no alley shot. It wasn't no alley shot. Now, 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 just pay attention. Just follow me now. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you about another incident. Bip. You remember, okay, I was over there on Laurie, right? And I had on a, a bunch of green. I, had, I was greened up. You know, I remember back in the day, I used to wear all that green. I kept a green uniform on. Head to toe, greened up, right? I'm on the block. Now, it's tension over there. Because, you know, Rusty had the sticks on on on, 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 on Laurie back then. This in 89, Rusty had the sticks, so Laurie was booming. That's what a 40-block term come from. Crip Dog wrote it right there on the side of his house. That's what a first term 40-block come from, from a dude named Crip Dog that ended up turning down the street. He wrote it in gold spray paint right there on the side of Rusty House, a big 40 block. Laurie was initially considered 40 block because Laurie was where all the money was coming in at. So I used to be over there, right? But on this day, I get into it with Ice. I think his real name, Kenny. He rest in peace. Benzo, bro. I get into it with Ice. I grew up with, with heavy set, tall, light skin and Ice, right? He claimed 40 block. So I'm walking from Rusty House. I'm semi, you know, kind of wet. Him and Stabone coming up the street. So as we, I'm walking up the street, he looking at me all funny, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't belong over there, but you coming out the gurse. But you looking at me like I don't belong on the block. So we walk by each other, and I'm looking at him, and he looking at me. So we mugging each other, and he goes, say, you need to go take some of that green off. He ain't had no brown on or nothing like that for me to take, you know, say, go, you need to go take some of that brown on. So I just said, fuck you and fuck 40 block. He said, what you say? I said, you heard me. And then the bone took his shirt off, talking about, I'm about to knock him out. I'm about to knock him out. And, and he walking up on me, I hit you in your mouth. Man, I pulled that thing out and they was acting like I didn't have one. Come on, man. Y'all remember that? I pulled that thing out. I had Stabone diving over a fence. You remember that? You dived over Adam fence, I think that was. Well, then Adam stay on Laurie at the end, toward the end. You dived over, remember you dived over that fence. And I had Donnie doing a river dance out there, but he got across the street. I broke and ran. I ran up Comstock. And when I got to heart, I ran through the houses. I go through on the side of Trap House. They used to have a hole in the wall right there where you can go right in the alley because it was like a, a plot that sat right there on the, on the side of the trap house, right? I'm running up the street fast as I don't know what. They got a great Dane out there named Floyd, right? Look like a human, like a crackhead. Floyd see me running up the street with the pistol. I break Floyd broke like he on a run too. The dog, it started running too. So look, I fly through the moon. I Fly through the hole, the dog running with me. I swear to God, Floyd, everybody know that, that great name, Floyd. Remember Floyd? I'm, I'm running through the wall. Floyd running too. Like he didn't just shot at somebody too. So me and the dog going, I run through the wall. Floyd run through the wall. I jet up over there by a bit. I don't know where Floyd went, but I jet over there. I see Bip. You remember you was sitting on the stairs? This so my dead daddy. Remember you was sitting on the stairs with the radio? And I came because... The, the helicopter, and I can hear the police. The helicopter with the ghetto bird was already there. You can hear the police coming. Rrr, rrr. It's sirens and everything. You remember I ran to that and I tried to throw you that gun? And I told you to, to, to tuck that? And you said your mama was in the house? And I'm like, your mama? You remember that? And I started taking off all that green. I threw my hat that way, took my shirt off. You you stood there and watched me did it because I was like, I couldn't believe that you you and then you got up off you got up off the stairs and went in the house on me. That's all my you don't don't act like you don't remember that, man. 
That's on bread you did that. And I don't even do that. I'm not in that life, but you know you did that. It wasn't no Ali Shah DM. You weren't talking about no Ali Shah. And remember, we were so mad at you. You weren't even hanging with me and Lil Bread Dim no more. You started hanging with Pokey G and the Gershon. Not Pokey G from Crip City. Pokey G over there with McGuire stayed next door to Hatch. You start messing with Pokey G, man. It wasn't no goddamn Ali Shot. So my thing is when it became Ali Shot. Because I heard of no such thing. I heard when Tony Polk used to say it. Let's take it to the Alley side because we was 86. They was 86 about the G's. He the first person I ever heard use that term. So if we want to talk about Alley shots, man, and you want to talk about Alley boys, I'm going to just keep it real. Okay, before this Alley stuff and all this LL and this green and yellow stuff, that concept was even a concept. Brother, Tombstone, me, Big Bread, Lil Bread, Rocket, Pimp, uh, Quasi, Lil Trap, Booby Trap, Sunny, uh, 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 if I said Polly Mac, Polly Mac, D Boy, King Roger D, Duck House, Chill Dog, Max, every now and then Big Hub, them would come through there. 40 Block Feet Sister uh, Tracy stayed up over there. The 40 Block Girls Rochelle and Michelle stayed over there. Everybody used to be over Chicken Head Chris House. The homie Yak used to stay up over there. Do Dirty used to be up over there. The white essay homeboy Cisco used to be up in the alley. Now, do y'all really want to play this game? And don't none of these individuals that I just named know anything about no goddamn green and yellow. And I didn't mention you, Bill. Because you became a non-factor after those two incidents. We realized you weren't down with what we was down with, homie, because you weren't doing what we was doing. You were too busy running around there with your radio with Pokey G. Bumping MC Ron C. Am my line? MC Ron C was your song. Remember that MC Ron C that, was, that you used to bump that? Yeah. When we was putting in work, you, you was over there on that other seat. You wanted, come on, man. Let's keep that thing a band. I guess you went gangster when you went over there and carry arms with Lil Gus. Because Lil Gus been in the big arms. You know? He been in there. I was out there that night when they arrested D-Ray. And they went over there and they got Lil Gus. And they got the 5-7 through the pit, the little pit bull over the balcony. I was out there when Levine was out there cussing them out. Johnson and Johnson. I was out there that night. That was 1988. When no alley shot. When none of that. So when did alley shot come out? Mm. When that green and yellow come out? That's the question of the day. Let's talk about it, huh? We can talk about it. Let's keep it real. When that green and yellow come? And what alley was y'all claiming? Because Bobby Lofton wasn't in that little alley. Lofton then wasn't in the little alley. Cisco wasn't in the little alley. No. What alley shots was in that little alley? Mm-hmm. See, that's what's going to get you. What, 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 what alley shots was in the little alley? You take Bill out the foray. We know Lil Gus stayed in the big, big carry arms. Until he moved on 40 block, right? I came over your house with bread. Remember we went fishing, little Gus? Me, you, bread, Bip, the fisherman. We went, we went fishing. Remember in the in the Astro van when me and bread was the with the American program with Jim Brown. Remember me and bread was with the American American program when he had the office over there on Miller Street and he had the one in the Nucleus Plaza. When me and him used to be in the white Astro van. We stayed well out there on Lake Mead in Pyramid Apartments. Y'all remember we went fishing? Lil Gus stayed on a block. He just moved over there when we did that. 
Bip, you moved in Lil Gus' spot. You and your brother. Because remember when I was on the run for murder and I was knocking on the door, bamming on the door, telling y'all to let me in, and y'all was looking at me through the window when you had Misha up in the house, and y'all was looking at me through the window, looking me in my face, and I was bamming on the door. You did the same shit you did every time we, I tried to throw a gun to you. Y'all look act like I wasn't there. See, you always did that, but you a gangster. Anyway, we can talk. My thing is, let's keep this shit right. Because cause DMC used to be in that alley. With, he used to go with Tammy. And DMC ain't know nothing about no alley shot. Ask me out there. He ain't know nothing about no alley shot in that alley. We ain't know nothing about that. So what alley y'all claiming to carry on? Because that's K-9 hood. And when y'all start wearing green and yellow, that used to be Winslow Park color. Double O Winslow. David McAfee them used to wear green and yellow. Will them used to wear green and yellow. Not rest in peace, Will, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Chill, Will, them. Green and yellow. Double O Winslow. Back in 89, Winslow Park was wearing green and yellow. Matter of fact, one of them had like a, 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 a green cutlass, a money collar up over there. The boy, the dark skinned boy. With the, I think his name was Will. With the curl, had the uh, green cut, the green cutlass. Winslow Park was wearing green and yellow. So when the alley shot started wearing, what year was that? Let's keep it real. What well, alley shots is really from the little alley. I bet you if you name every alley shot, they all from carry arms. They all from carry arms or around that area. Name some alley shots that's actually from the little alley. Name 10 of them. That's actually from the little alley. See, that's how you get to the bottom of it. Name 10, 10 alley shots that's actually from the little alley. I bet you can't. I bet you can't. I bet you can't. Name 10 that's out the little alley. Because if you can't name 10 that come out that little alley, then where did alley shot come from? And what green and yellow come in at? Think about it. What green and yellow come in at? Hmm? The Oakland A's hat. When y'all start making that y'all an insignia? That's what I want to know. Because... Carry arms is K9 hood. So you're not claiming no alley over there. So if you claiming a little alley, then why ain't nobody that claimed alley shot from the little alley? Except Bip. And Bip, you ain't start nothing. Won't nobody follow you. You don't have leader credentials. You just don't, and that's not being disrespectful. You just don't. Ain't nobody never followed you. You been up on a little gust dim though. He yeah, ain't nobody ain't nobody never followed you, Bill. No. And you know that. Ain't nobody never followed you, Bill. You was drinking out, you was drinking Heineken's because Lil Gustin was drinking Heineken's. The only thing you was real good at was saying cuz. Remember that? Get my ride, cuz. Get my ride, cuz. Cuz, quit playing. Get my ride, cuz. And then when Lil Gus say, the next motherfucker asks me to hit my drink, I'm knocking him out. Remember that? Remember Gus, Lil Gus started that trend? Don't ask him to hit his 40 or he gonna knock you out. Then you wanted to be tough. Hey, Bip, let me hit that. No, cuz. You don't remember that? You remember how you that? You ain't. No, cuz. You ain't never told me that. But you used to try to act just like Lil Gus. No, cuz. It's like you used to practice saying cuz in the mirror. No, cuz. No, cuz. 
What's up, cuz? But that's as far as your gangster win. But keep it real, nigga. You ain't never shot nobody. You shot yourself, nigga. Crazy ass, nigga. But, man, look us can talk because he actually real. You know, that's one of the real ones. You know, that's little Gus Stokes. You know? And, and you know, he, he looked up to the person. I, I, that was my mentor, and that was Bray. And he know I was with him every day. I was his shadow every day. And I'm a little sheepdog son, so you know I was raised by the best. Come on, man. And my memory, and I, I got it. And I'm just saying, homie, I just want to know when Alley Shot became a gang. Because it wasn't there when, when, when we was in the alley. No. No. Bip did not have no following in Lil' Carry Arms. Lil' Trap then became PPGs, him, Tony Polk, and all them. Short Dog was hollering Gershon Park Mafia. Remember Short Dog used to write Gershon Park Mafia on the walls? Short Dog was over there writing Gershon Park Mafia on the wall. See? There was no alley, nothing. And, and Zaykos, the only thing that was changed was Zaykos' name. And he stopped calling himself Zaykos and he stopped, he started calling himself Cosmos Cat. I don't know. Nothing about no. So my question to you guys, I guess this is the question of the day. When and where? And don't say 1989. Don't. Boy, stop. Don't say 1990. Mm-mm. So, when did Ali Shaq come out? And where did the green and yellow come from? When the Oakland A's became...